Tapered bearing versus ball bearing. What are the differences between the two and which one is right for you? Hi, I'm John Henson for Curry Enterprises. And today I want to talk a little bit about the most common large bearings that we use for building a Ford 9-inch rear end today and where you might find them and what the differences are between the two that we most commonly see. There's a tapered roller bearing and a standard sealed ball bearing. This bearing here, the ball bearing, was something that was used in the mid-60s on Ford passenger cars. Uh, it's going to have the same diameter, which is 3.150, as the tapered bearing. However, the internals are much different. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break this bearing seal off and show you the inside of it. And you can tell it's a sealed bearing, so it's packed with grease. And it has ball bearings that roll against the outside cage. This bearing here is really good if you're just going to be slow and low and just cruising straight down the road. But if you're going to upgrade your vehicle, we're going to say that the best thing to do is to go with what the Curry standard is, which is the tapered roller bearing, manufactured by Timken, part number set 20. And if you were to break this apart, the internals are going to look like this bearing here that's installed on an axle shaft. Now, the tapered rollers have a much wider contact patch to the race which allows it to handle bigger side load or bigger wheels and tires. So this is a perfect setup if you're going to run, like, say, a street car with a larger wheel and tire that you may autocross or turn into corners or drive spiritedly. And this is going to be able to handle, uh, like I said, a larger wheel and tire. A lot of muscle cars today aren't running 15s anymore. So they're running 17s, 18s, 19s, and 20s. And that weight needs to, is going to add a lot of rolling mass to the vehicle. This bearing is much better equipped to handle that type of load. And if you want to throw it into a corner, you're not going to have to worry about anything as far as the bearing is concerned. Another huge benefit to the tapered roller bearing is the seal is on the front side. And it actually gets lubed by the gear oil. So it runs cooler. And because it runs cooler, this is a much better bearing. So we actually provide the Set 20 in all of our muscle car crates. And it's definitely a much better bearing than just a standard ball bearing like this. Now, the ball bearings you're going to find on a lot of factory 9-inch uh, housings and axles, they can actually be upgraded to the Set 20. If you want to give us a call, we'll go over the measurements for you, make sure the ID and the OD of the bearing are correct. I hope that goes over some of the differences between a ball bearing and a tapered roller. If you have any questions on what is right for you, please give us a call, send us an email, or leave a comment below. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe here. For more tech videos, click here. And for more Curry content, click here. Thanks for watching, guys.